Hey, it's Rick here with another iPhone 4 review, and this time I've got the ring key case for the iPhone 4. You can see their slogan is transform yourself with ring key. And let's go ahead and take a look at the case. Once you get it out of the packaging, what you're going to be looking at here is a TPU case, um, but the material that it's made out of is not as rigid as some of the other TPU cases out there. So it retains the flex of a silicone case, uh, but it's going to keep its shape a little bit longer than, let's say, a silicone case would. So the color on this particular one is almost like a smoky gray, um, and I will show you the case once I get it on the phone here. Very easy to put on because it does have that bend. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. Usually what I do is I put my phone into uh, silent first and then I will go ahead and slide the top in, followed by just pulling the bottom straight up and over. And there you have it. So you do get, as you can see all around the edge, um, it covers a little bit of your screen here, but because it does have flex, and it's not pushing against your screen, this isn't gonna bubble any screen protectors that you might have, so that's nice. You do get a lay on the table design with a little bit of grippiness, uh, so your screen is not actually touching. If we take a tour of the case here, you can see you've got your volume buttons here, which are very responsive. You've got your cutout for your silent switch, which as well is very easy to get to. On the bottom end, you've got your 30-pin dock connector, as well as your speaker and your microphone that the cutouts are all just dead on there. On this end, it is completely enclosed. On the top, you've got your sleep-wake button, as well as your uh, headphone jack and your noise canceling, which lines up just well. And then on the back, you've got a couple of things here. So first off, you've got your uh, ring key logo right there, which is pretty low profile. It is pretty transparent, so you can see where it says iPhone. And what they've done is they've cut out the area for the Apple logo, so you can still see that. Now, what I'd recommend you do is if you're concerned about, let's say, dirt or dust or things getting in here, just put a protector on your back. And then that way, you don't have to worry about any scratches. However, with that being said, if you don't want to do that, that's fine too. Just from time to time, I take this case off, maybe wipe it down and then put it back on. So uh, just a consideration there. Your camera area, real nice that they've done this. They've made the flash area extra large so that that flash can shoot out and it won't mess with the camera lens. It's not gonna create any whiteout effects or any artifacting or things like that. And I have tested that and validated that to be true. So very nice. This does in ways remind me of the Incipio NGP case, but it is a little bit more um, flexible than the NGP. And then of course you've got your cutout here. So, so it's a really nice case. It's very light. And again, if you're looking for something a little bit more flexible, um, this might be the one for you, especially if you've been having uh, not so much luck finding a case that works with screen protectors and back protectors. So that is the ring key case for the iPhone 4. It is available now, and if you have any questions, please let me know.